Oh, about I can't that. believe you did Start that. Start of the third term. <laughs> Belpo still 6-6-42. They lead. Matty Byrne 2-3-15. Love it. And Stretton in the first ruck for the start of the third term. And Love it. Gets it away towards Yates, who tapped it onto himself at centre wing. Does nicely and goes towards a vacant half forward flank. Kelly gets back there, coming out at pace. Is Turner. Wheels around on the left, then goes right. Goes with a kick towards the top of the square. Costello comes out. Got his name written on. He couldn't take the mark, though. Now the ball in dispute. Parsons is over the top of it. Just throws it away. Well, don't go run. out. For a rush behind Ooh. to Bell Post Hill. So they go to 6 7 43. The Panthers, the About Tigers, the 2 3 15. One, yes, 35 seconds. 35 seconds, that's right. And Parsons kicks in from full back. It's a good kick to and finds Jervie's inside defensive 50. Plays on now, draws a player, handball over the top. Bowden gets it at half back, goes towards centre wing. Well, punched it away defensively. Peters, good to roving, gives it away to Middleton. He's left foot kick around the corner. Jacques, Urquhart gives it away. Jacques, though, handballed it over towards Tom. His handball further towards Harding. Doesn't sit for him, though. Lima kick off the ground by Jacques. Only as far, though, as Addy at half back. Tries to bad bell. one. Yeah, the kick was bad. Arclay, he ripped off the football and threw it, said the umpire. So, Bell Post Hill will take the free kick. Jack Yates will take it at half back. Shane Lima just ringing the hand out there. I don't know if he got a bit of a stinger or what it was, but. So, Yates. He's been good for many. He has. Oh, yeah. Giving him something a bit different in there. Mm. He goes wide with the kick, looking for Barlow. Welves there as well. Barlow goes up. Pie says a mark to Stevenson. He only plays the Anthony Baird role, doesn't he? Yes. Absolutely. Down the line. And there he goes again. Takes the mark at half back, Yates. So Jack Yates down, just holding it up. Got Barlow and Love it down the line. Not much else to kick to, so he just will go there. Barlow up Stevenson, taps it towards the boundary line, over and a throw in. A couple of minutes gone in the third term. Belpo still 6 7 43. They lead Bannockburn 2 3 15. He's the sort of bloke you don't include in your pre match stuff much. No, a bit like right. Fantella and Lima were seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. So thrown back in by the umpire. Fantella gets a clearance on cue. Goes into the half-forward line again. Kelly comes out for Bannockburn. Paddles it along, but Yates is there again. Gets a handball over the top. Picked off by Middleton, though. He gets a handball away. Goes towards a big fella in Strett. Middleton goes after it again. Gets out of the contest. Did pretty nicely there, Willie Middleton, and goes into the centre half forward <laughs> position now. And letting in the race for the ball is Urko. Takes the mark. Steadies himself down. Slows down. Has a player in the middle. And that is Martin Newby. Ignores him. Lime is also there and up over the top. Decides to go to Reese Burke. Kick. Didn't hit the target, but he's able to get the ball in the half volley. Picks the ball up outside to Yates once again. Not too sure he wants to do with it here, so he just decides to go long into the half forward line. Turner was going to be the flyer, but at the back, the mark has been taken. No, it's a free kick against Barlow. <laughs> yep, Hold goes to man. Stevenson, and he will be the recipient of that free kick. Got Peters. Jake Peters, short, and he takes the mark. Runner outside, Broman. He's going to go back on his natural side, but no, he doesn't. He gives the ball off to Broman, continues to run, goes in the direction of Tom, coming out. Addy can't take the mark. Ball back over the boundary line. We're going to have another throw in. And it's just further advance from the centre wing position. So Bannock Burns attacking end at the present time. Thrown back in by the umpire. Ball runs out the back of the contest. Jakey Peters picks the ball up, goes out the back to Tyquin. Puts boot the ball, didn't travel too far. Was actually picked up by uh, Matty Hoey again. Puts his head over the contest. Broman gets a kick away to Stretton. Goes back towards to Bath now. He picks it up. He's tackled. Ball comes out. Back to Stretton. Goes back to Peters. Peters over the top. Sees Arclay. Puts boot the ball into the half forward line. Ball is uh, out the back, picked up by Tom, and he's got the handball away to Harding. He screws the ball back. A little bit too much oh, carrying out the back. Mark. mark is taken there by Jimmy Barton. So Barton for Bell Post Hill to relieve some pressure. And he'll go to the far side of the ground. Kick goes out towards Martin. You're on the half-back line. Time to steady. Looks up. Goes further afield. Reese Burke has made good position. So on centre wing now, he takes the ball. Runner back inside. Fantella. He goes in that direction. He takes the mark. Stops. Also steadies himself. Kick's been poor. Goes towards Gavin. Can't take the ball. Tries to knock it to his advantage of his teammate. But going the other way is Kelly. He's uh, got the ball now. But Turner's working pretty hard. The big fella Stretton is also working pretty hard. He goes to ground. 
ground now. Page arrives and Rabbis gets the handball away. No, oh, too he's confident. The foot. Foot. Getting too confident, Tank. And he picks the ball up and it's Jakey Peters. Goes back over the top to Arclay. There's a time to put the boot on the ball to the half forward line. Coming out, Tom first grab, second grab, and he takes the mark. So Jason Tom in front of Addy has the ball now. Just directing players to go to the pocket. Goes in that direction now. Out the back, ball smothered. Go over the top. Picked up by Urquhart. Front and square to the contest. Delivers the ball back towards centre wing. Jake Peters takes the mark. And he plays on quickly now and goes back into the half forward line. A kick is not well directed. And the mark has been taken out there by Martin Yu. <coughs> so Nick Martin Yu goes short. Limer has taken the mark. Outside 50, another short kick. Fantala had to work for it but got to the ball. And he now steadies himself. This kick's a little bit better. Goes towards centre wing. Out there, Barlow. Stevenson does well. Gets the ball away from him. Picked up by Jervis. Comes back on his right side. Looks back towards centre half forward. To Link Peters. Good kick. Mark. Peters wants to go. Gets the handle outside to Tyquin. Half forward flank. He goes quickly into the pocket. Uh, Barton is there once again and sees the ball over the boundary line. So have another throw in. 20 minutes around from the hind post. So we tick over five, nearly six minutes in the third quarter. The Grand Southern Sports third quarter scoreboard. Bell post two last six goals, seven. Bannock burn two, three. So throw in. Fulton gets it down with the right fist. Oh, Fantella wrapped off the footy. That's holding it. Yep. Good tackle, Matty Tyquin. In fact, it was Barton, sorry. So Barton it was. Matty Tyquin will shoot for goal from 35 out directly in front. And keeping the pressure on in the forward line at the moment, the Tigers. Got plenty of the footy start of this third term. They need a result, and they get one. So he puts his first on the board, and the third for Bannock. They go to 3 3 21. They trail Bell Post Hill 6 7 43. And that's on the uh, DeGrandy Cycle and Sport, a third quarter scoreboard, and we played seven minutes. Well, I'll say it again. I know I said it before, but I still think um, Bell Post Hill are the best side on the ground, but they're only three goal, no, three and a half mm. goals up now. And I'll tell you what, a couple of quick goals to Bannockburn, and they can win this game. Don't worry about it. I think everyone was talking at halftime. Oh, gee, they're gone. They're not gone. Don't worry about that. A couple of quick ones here, and they can win this final. Just looking at Bannockburn's half forward line, do you guys reckon Lincoln Peters has been quiet today, or have I missed a bit? Yeah, no. Well, he has, but he spent, I meant to say it halfway through that second quarter, he was on the ball at one stage. Mm. So they're trying everything they can to gain ascendancy. So back in the middle of the ground we go again. Basley's going to win the clearance. Goes back on his left foot. And he delivers the ball into the half-forward line. Goes over the top of Etridge. Van Ingen is there. Again, Etridge keeps his feet. Goes one way, then back the next. Gets away from the contest. Looks up. Goes back towards the half-forward. Stevenson gets a hand in. Takes the ball away. Doesn't pick the ball up cleanly, though. So he puts himself under pressure. Handballs to pass. And He's called it a throw. He's called it a throw. I can't comment on that because it's too far away. But you just tap the ball. If you don't take, take possession of it, that can be a throw. Well, I couldn't quite see it, so I'm not going to comment on it. So it's in the hands of Nick Costello now, and he will kick for goal. Has one for this afternoon. It's a dangerous person to have the footy. Yes, it is. So he's going for his 50th for the season. This would be only really second touch for the game, just about two. When he mm. hasn't had too many. I hasn't had many. I haven't counted him. But he's going to have two goals if he kicks accurate here. So I suppose he two kicks, two goals is a pretty good return. Steps in, kicks a goal. I'll tell you what, he's done that pretty nicely. Has he what? Straight through the middle, Nick Costello. His second goal of the afternoon. The seventh for Bannockburn. So, sorry, the seventh for Bell Post Hill. 7-7 seven, seven now, Bell Post Hill. Leading Bannockburn, three goals, three. And we've gone about seven minutes into this third quarter to Granny Cycle and Sports third quarter scoreboard. Isn't that just what they do? Like, I just finished saying that, you know, Bannockburn, been out class, but they're, they're just getting closer. One or two more. And that's when Bell Post will always step in and kick one and, and just shut your big fat mouth right up, don't they? <laughs> and they've done it to me for years and they're still doing it. So back to the middle. Answering goal from the Panthers. Not a bad middle to have. Rabbis, basically, in Fantella. And love it in the middle, doing the ruck work down towards Rabbis. Broman, though, wrapped up by Fantella. And the umpire will come in and ball it up again. Stratton coming from the same side now as Lovett. They do battle. Love it. Hit him on the head, Falcon. Oh, what? Had a free kick. I don't know how that came from. I honestly can't see that. I can't see that. Just Goes short to Fantella, who takes the mark, plays on, goes towards half-forward. Etridge comes out. That's a great mark. 
Stevenson, uh, Van Inken was right next to him then, and he just took it. He goes towards Page on a lead, goes up, can't take the mark. Off the back, Kelly just got the handball away. Stevenson got it away to Parsons, who runs away from Costello, goes wide with the kick. It's okay. And finds Van Ingen. Defensive 50 for the Tigers. Goes along the line. Back towards Link Peters in the centre wing position. Ball though spills free. Kick from Welve. Up towards Costello again. Leaves it behind Reek. He gets the handball over the top to Stretton, the big fella. Needs to get back around. He lumbers around and gets it towards Rollo. Kick off the ground. Back towards the boundary line. And it is out of bounds for a throw in. So still at left half forward for the Panthers. I'm glad this isn't the grand final because it'd be pretty tough picking a best on in for either side. Close to the boundary line, pack develops, and he's waiting for them to bury each other, I think. Now he'll come in and ball it up. Still deep into the Panthers' attacking zone, about 40 out from goal, close to the boundary <laughs> line, left forward pocket. Have a ball up. Stretton will do the ruck work for... Bannockburn, Merrick for Bell Post Hill. He goes up early and gets it down and just bashes it over the boundary line. So Bell Post Hill 7 8 50. They lead Bannockburn 3 3 21. 16 and a half plate. Third term. Throw in for Stretton and Merrick. Merrick works his way to the front. Roved by Yates. Handball over the top. Kelly roved at the better as well. Got the handball to Stretton. And then they're still under pressure though. Numbers, though, with Bannockburn, they get the ball towards centre wing position. Coming across, Addy gives it away. Gray around the corner. Off a step, Jake Peters. Out of bounds. And a free kick to the Panthers on centre wing. And it'll be Tim Barton to take it back into attack for Bell Post Hill. <coughs> so Timmy Barton from centre wing now to uh, transfer play back into the forward line for Bell Post Hill. Again, there's not too much movement forward of where he is, so he decides to go long and straight down the line. In front, Mark is not taken there by Barlow. Running player coming through, picked up nicely by Basley. Gets boot the ball, runs it into the forward line. Going back, Kelly, being good for Bannockburn. Goes to Reek. He's tackled, needs to get the ball out, but he's uh, in the back. pushed, says the umpire. So Chris Reek will be the recipient of the free kick. And from the back pocket position, he will take the ball. Howie he out there by himself on the boundary line, but he decides to go a little bit closer towards the big fella, and it's good mark there, Jakey Barlow. So Barlow now looks back towards the middle of the ground. Joel Page makes a lead down the ground. Mark New, he's uh, going towards the full forward position, coming out. The mark not taken there by Kelly at ground level, picked up, cleared away. Tycoon was strong over the ball. Um, they said he threw it, did he? Threw it. <laughs> So who gets and the kick? The will be. Don't go stupid, you'll get 50. Martin, you, I think. Okay. Yes, it is. Nick Martin, you. So from about uh, 35 metres out, 45 degree angle, Nick Martin, you will come in. That's the five goals this season so far. Kicks a right. goal. You're going to make that six, six, champ. And the umpire did not move then. So Nick Martin, he has his first goal of the afternoon. And the eighth goal now for Bell Post Hill. They're 8-8. Eight, eight. Bannock Burn on three goals, three. 18 and a half minutes gone. Third quarter, the Grandy Cycle Sports third quarter scoreboard. I'll tell you what, we're asked about the free kick, free kick count. It's not just about the free kick count. It's where you get them to sometimes. And, and I'm not saying that wasn't there. I, I couldn't see it. Probably a good decision, but mm. that really hurt them bad. And what you said before... They go around the boundary at Bannockburn, and you can come back in at any stage and be in an advantageous position. But here, it's a long, long way home around the outside. Mm. A long way home. Back to the middle, Merrick and uh, Cole having a run on the ruck now for Bannockburn. Both get a hand to it. Rove by Howie. Goes towards centre-half forward. Good mark, Jacques. Plays on quickly. Lead on from Tom. Addy right next to him. Ball towards the boundary line. Fulton leads Limer in the race for the footy. And Lima hassles him and the football over the line for a throw in. He's run a long way, Fulton. It's strange. They had Cole in the ruck, but they had Fulton as a ruck over there at the same time. And he's run all that way down there. I would have thought they would stagger it a little bit, wouldn't you? Maybe they're going the small forward line as well. All right, great. So boundary throw in. Banning burn into attack. Fulton gets the ruck contest down. Ball spills free towards Welve. He's wrapped up. Can't get rid of it. The umpire says held to him. And there'll be a ball up, about 40 out from the Tiger goal. Pile 
They'll throw the ball in the air for, well, probably Fulton, I'd say, up against Barton. Barton gets a big thump away, goes back towards half back, but Kelly measures the pass to Jake Peters, who takes it just inside the boundary line at half forward, 50 out from goal, kicks into the man on the mark, didn't go far enough back. And ball back towards Peters again. He gets wrapped up. Yates is there. Handball out to the front of the pack. And Bell Post still worked pretty hard there. It's going to be a hold, though, said the umpire. And going to be a free kick. I think it's Howie with it for Bannockburn. So still 50 out from goal. Howie loads it up. Goes to the top of the square. Fulton comes out. Can't take the mark. Front and centre, Fantella is there for Bell Post Hill. Goes long to Etridge. Can't take the mark. Off hands, Barlow. Good play. Kick around the corner, Van Ingen. Back towards half forward. Link Peters through. Left it behind, though. And the ball in a pack situation at centre half forward for Bannockburn. Wrapped up and not going anywhere. Bell Post Hill, 8-8-56. They lead Bannockburn. 3-3-21-21. Well, let me tell you this. For the percentage of the time the ball's in his area, Urquhart's miles best on the ground. Handball, a ball up goes back in, and now the handball comes from Tyquin. Gives it away to Reek, and who then goes to Broman. It goes wide, close to the boundary line, and there is Manset. Urquhart gives it away from Jacques. Well, over the boundary line for throw in. A lot of criticism for our 22 under 22 team that Urquhart didn't get a Guernsey. He's uh, actually in his 30s, so there you go. I was going to say, <laughs> Willie, I was gonna say <laughs> Willie's been around longer than I have. Nah, it's just an inside joke at Belfast. So the ball from the ruck contest, the front of the pack, Milton gets it towards centre wing, Rabbis, handball over the top. They get a chain of handballs, the Panthers, and they keep, well, we ran a long way there. Mm. Basely goes inboard, Page and Barlow go up together. They fumble all around, they can't take the mark. Ball for Bannockburn under pressure. They, Van Ingen gives it away to Tyquin, just turns around and kicks it back towards half back, punched away by Gray and sees it over the boundary line for a throw in. So in between wing and half forward on the outer side for Bell Post Hill. They're 7-7-49. Seven, seven, they lead Bannockburn 3-3-21. We played nearly 12 minutes in the third term. Well, I'm glad this isn't the grand final, mate. Because otherwise next week I wouldn't have nothing to do. <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting any invites to the Geelong Cricket Club, so it would be nothing to do. Do the garden. So the ball uh, thrown back in by the umpire. Dale is. Lovett gets the ball down and it's... Uh, Free kick bit of water going to Broman, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, so I'm not too sure what the free kick was for, but he's uh, probably been taken high on that far side of the ground. So Jack Broman now with the ball. Goes back towards centre wing. Kicked out there. Ball runs out the back and again over the boundary line. So we're going to have a throw in to take place on that far side of the ground again. Probably just forward of centre wing mm. for the Tigers. Just on our final schedule, we want to remind all listeners that if the grand final is a draw, there will be extra time. Ball, love it. Taps it into the half-forward line, coming through Burke. Doesn't take possession of the ball cleanly. Picked up by Middleton. Gets himself out of trouble high, said the umpire. So he wins a free kick. So Willie Middleton now with the ball. He's got Just Hoey in the middle. side from the centre wing position. He's not too sure. Again, there's not much movement forward. He goes out wide. Love it's the big man out there, and he just taps the ball over the boundary line. So another throw in far side of the ground. <clears throat> I think if, as Grub said before, or Jace, I think you said we need to get things moving. You're trying to be a little bit more attacking instead of playing that defensive side. This time Stretton knocks the ball back towards the boundary, picked up by Jakey Peters, stopped and went back on his left boot into the half forward line. Tom's the target, pushed away by Addy, has support. I think that's Barton. He gets the handball away to Urquhart. Urquhart now looking further afield. And he's got a player in Rabbis now. If he gets it, he can go. Looking back inside, he could use Basley, but he doesn't. Now he gets the handball away to Yates. He Yates will. Goes to Basley, put him under pressure. He, Jack Yates supports him, though, and goes back and collects it. Advantage has been played. The umpire blew the whistle, and Chris Reek stopped. But uh, Reese Burke, he kept going. He took the mark. So Burke now quickly into the forward line, out the back. Oh, that's a nice... Nice oh, careful, kick. careful. And a well-positioned mark has been taken there by Nick Costello. So he will go back. As I said before, two kicks, two goals, I reckon. This is going to be three kicks and possibly three goals for Nick Costello. So from about 25 metres out, an opportunity for the eighth goal for Bell Post Hill. I 
think there would be too much trouble here. How's that from Oz Grubb? There you go. <laughs> oh, he's got Kicks no idea. Oh, oh, it's looking decent. And he has missed it. He missed it. <laughs> You're an idiot. Costello, <laughs> two goals, one. Bell Post Hill, seven goals, eight. <laughs> See who he's bagging for. Three goals, three. <laughs> and we have gone 14 and a half minutes. Third quarter of the Grand Cycling Sports Third quarter scoreboard. Parsons kicks it in, finds Tyquin. Takes the mark in front of Yates. Plays on now. Goes down the line. Good play by Cole. Hold anyway. Took them. Oh, it's gone oh. the other way. <laughs> really? It's gone the I other way. I kicked that one. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. No, no. So no, free kick no, to Bell no, Post no. Hill. No, no I, can't, I can't see that one, boys. Not if they're holding on to each other. Which they were. So. Gray gets the kick. Goes long inside 50. Airtridge coming at Parsons. Front and centre. Ball spills towards Costello. Kick around the corner. Looking for Etridge. No, Hoey's back there for Bannockburn. Gets the clearing kick into the car park. Out of bounds on the full. So Lima will take the free kick for Bell Post Hill. So 15 and a half gone third term. Lima with a short kick. Finds Lentini. Still 60 from goal. Plays on now. Goes long towards Etridge threaten, oh, good mark. Good in oh, line, the big fella. That's a no, mark. Well done, big fella. Handballs it away to Reek, who gets the ball under pressure now. Draws a player. Kelly under pressure, wrapped up. And the umpire says play on. Clay, third term. Merrick indicating he's doing the ruck work. Cole also down there doing the ruck work for the Bannockburn side. Both players, they get the ball down at Jace. Clearance, good smother from Howie. Runs into their forward line now. Broman gets a handball outside. Went looking for Jarks. Missed him. Ball runs over the boundary line. We're going to have a throw in. Has he played all year, that Merrick? No, he's only played the Second. last uh, played three season. games. I know that name from somewhere. Where's, what's Merrick? Ivan Merrick. No, no. Oh, I know. I know where it is. I'm not an animal. That's the elephant man, oh, yeah. John Merrick. Oh, oh, it is too. So Bannockburn, they put the ball back towards the goal square. Ball has gone through. Now there's a whistle from the umpire. It's a free kick to Bannockburn. And it's down the field, is it? Well, it's gone through for a point, so it can't. It has, to, it has to go back. And the field umpire's got it. He's bringing it back. Uh, Liam Merrick, actually a very talented uh, basketballer for the Crow Bay Stingrays. And um, now that they're off, he's free to play senior footy. So uh, Brent Jarks is the recipient, and he had one shot, so he should have a bit of uh, history there from the same position. Loads up and goes long towards goal. Looks pretty good off the boot, and he's just Missed it. drifted off at the last yeah. minute through for a minor score. So Brent Jarks has 1-1 for the afternoon. Bannockburn now to three goals, four. Belpo still on 8-8, eight, eight. and we have gone 22 and a half minutes, third quarter. The Granny Cycling Sports third quarter scoreboard. So kick in by Lima. Outside, 50 towards Barton. Van Ingen bumps off him. Barlow comes across as well. Jervie's over the top of it. Ball in dispute. Pack develops. Van Teller across, putting the tackle on as well. And it rolls and spills out of bounds for a throw in right in front of the scoreboard. Did you say bounce off Barton too, don't they? He's a pretty strong boy. Absolutely. So boundary throw in. Cole. Merrick gets it down. In traffic. Bell Post will get it out now. They go long. Gavin goes towards half forward. And mark taken by Bath. Across half back. Oh, dangerous kick to Rollo. Rabbis ran away. Took the mark. Got rid of the uh, footy just under pressure. Etridge kick around the corner. Back towards the top of the square. Parsons did nicely. Got his name written on it. Never left the eyes no, off the ball. He goes to Kelly. Got handball to Rollo. Over the top of defensive 50. Now he goes along the line to Bath. Who takes the mark. Plays on now. Goes with a kick. Oh, poor. Straight to Cam Addy. It's a funny ball drop, that. So Addy's taking the mark easily at half back. Called to play on now. He does along the line. He might give it back to Bath. He's going to. <laughs> Playing kick to kick. And Bath will take it. He's looking for somebody short or a handball. He wants Broman to run past. See if he's got a funny style of kick him. I don't know. He goes to Hoey. Takes the mark. Right on centre wing. Plays on now, goes towards Fulton, who used the body nicely there against Addy and took the mark. Plays on quickly, left half forward, goes towards the pocket. No mark taken, ball, missed Tom. Fantella, handball. 
Sets a task. Yates is across there. Fulton comes the other way. Peters through the middle as well. Link Peters gets it at a half forward. Handball back towards Howie. Ran straight into Cole. Goes with a left foot kick. Might be okay, is it? Yes, it is. Mark taken by Jacques. Right on the boundary line. At 40 metres out from goal. I tell you what, it's a tough kick, but he is a good kick normally. Mm. Kick 1-1 one, one this afternoon. Urquhart standing the mark. He comes in. Right foot kick. Pretty good. Pretty good. And he puts it through for a goal. So he's in second of the afternoon. And the fourth for Bannockburn. They go to 4 4 28. And they lead, uh, they trail Bell Post till 8 8 56. And as on the DeGrandy Cyclone Sport third quarter scoreboard. Well, I said he was a pretty good kick. What I didn't want to say was, oh, he'll kick this <laughs> to do what this idiot here did. But I thought he would kick that. He's got a bit of mercurialness about him, but he needs to be a bit more consistent and get the footy more. That's what I would say about him because he can do some things yeah. that other blokes can't do if he can get the footy enough. Having said that, he still played a much better game today than when we saw him a few weeks ago against Bell Post Hill, you agree? Yeah, he wasn't yeah. good that oh, day. Was, yeah, missing in action. So the ball back in the middle of the ground. Both Ruffin, they get hand on ball. Coming through, Tyquin doesn't uh, quite pick it up. Picked up by Fantella. Goes back to Urquhart. Urquhart steadies himself. Right boot. Kick didn't come off the boot too well. Heads towards the boundary line. And will run over and out of bounds. So we'll have a throw in on centre wing far side of the ground. Fantella on eight disposals this quarter alone and 17 for the entire match. So thrown back in by the umpire again. Ruckman get out at Stretton, taps it to the front of the contest again. Bannockburn clearance goes to Jarks. Tries to get away from Urquhart. He uh, did pretty nicely and he tapped the ball away but it went over the boundary line. So we'll have another throw in. Ten metres further down the field <laughs> for Bannockburn. Thrown back again by the umpire once again. It's going straight and missed the ball this time. Out the back of the contest it comes. A little bit of pace there from Lentini. Running forward was uh, Basley. Gets it into the half forward line. Page comes out. Can't take the mark. Front and square to the competition. Or well, the contest was uh, Turner. Turner looks, stops, props. Goes to the forward line. Costello couldn't get the half volley. Able to go back and collect it. Puts boot to ball. And he's off line. Through for a minor score. Nick Costello, two goals, two, eight, nine. Now to Bell Post Hill. 4-4 four, four, Bannockburn. And 27 minutes gone, third quarter. It's about where we were for the first two quarters, wasn't it? About yeah, 27. Look, just for the for the viewers, what's front and centre of the competition? Oh, Can you tell us that? <laughs> Kick in by Parsons. <laughs> Heinz Van Ingen. <laughs> Short. Still in the back pocket. Goes wide, looking for Tyquan Barlow next to him. Ball spills off the contest. And it will be a boundary throw in. So left half forward, Panthers into attack. 27 and a half played, third term, throw in. Love it in front, roved by Basley. Kick across, half forward, Jervies. Sits for him nicely. Oh, he just gets away too from Martin Hugh. And does well, does three bounces, does four bounces. Oh, the side. Oh, the side. Oh, no. no. Talk, no. talk about theatre. And no dribbly theater. barrel. No theatre. Ah. Oh. So it is three-quarter time, and it's Bell Post Hill 8-9-57. They lead Bannockburn 4-4-28.